Hello YouTube, that's O'Brannon here, back with another Photoshop tutorial, and welcome to episode 2 of our Photoshop tutorial series here on my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take an image of a subject with a background, remove the background, and then replace the background with something that you think um, would look great there. So in this case, I'm using a photo of my boyfriend at an event we were at yesterday, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the background and replace it with black. Now before we get started, I use the quick selection tool. A lot of people use different tools, um, and to be honest, when I first started, I used the pen tool and I used to go around and trace my subject body and stuff which you know turned out perfect sometimes because I had more control of what was getting selected at what time but for the most part using the magic wand tool makes things quick easy and Photoshop does a great job at uh, um, you know trying to imagine what you're selecting and then sometimes it'll select stuff now with each image depending on what it is you might have to go back and forth a couple times so keep that in mind and uh, remember that you know, not every image is easy to work with. Um, so if you're taking the photo, make sure you take it, kind of blur out the background and help Photoshop um, realize which is which. So let's get into the tutorial. <laughs> Go ahead and select your magic wand tool here, and then go ahead and trace out uh, the subject that you would like to use uh, for your preferred shot that you would like to see the final product of. So, for example, I took the photo, I blurred out the background, I helped Photoshop realize what was the uh, subject and what was the background, selected it really quickly, now I can go into the refined edge. So in the Refine Edge side, you can go ahead and view it on black. I love to do this uh, just so that I can get a better idea of what it will look like. And in this case, I'm going to replace it with a black background. So I'll be able to get it just about perfect. So now you can go and start adjusting things until it looks perfect. Now, I wouldn't suggest playing with too much uh, or overdoing it. But uh, just make sure that you're getting the photo you want, um, because once it's done, you're not going to be able to go back and tweak it. Uh, sorry, tweak it anymore. Um, so just go through, double check on everything. I think this looks pretty good. Uh, there's some white up here that I can merge into black, and that's what I'll do later. Now keep in mind, you're always going to have to make some final tweaks. Getting just the selection right is not going to be enough to do it. Um, it might be, but it's highly unlikely. So go ahead and click OK. Now your background's back. Go up to Select. Click Inverse or press Shift Control I or Shift Command I if you're on a Mac. So select Inverse. Now you have your background selected. Go ahead and hit Delete. Now that your background's gone, you only have your subject. So you can hit Control D, deselect everything. Now, for example, as I said, I'm going to add a black color and then I'm going to drag the layer underneath. This is now my image. So now it looks like my image is taking a photo of nothing. So up here, it looks like we have some uh, white or blue um, stuff left from the original image. So I'm just going to go into the eraser tool, select the layer, make sure that I have it on like this feather mode. And then I'm just going to, you know, kind of delete the majority of it make it nice and simple, nice and smooth. Remember, using the eraser tool, if you're not making smooth um, gestures with your mouse or anything, it's probably not going to turn out good. So, for example, there's my image. That's okay. If I really wanted to get technical, I can zoom all the way into here, um, resize my brush a lot, and then I can remove uh, the white that is in between the hand and the DSLR camera that he's using. Um, so you can go ahead and do this. And then once I zoom out, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Now, um, since I'm using one with like a, a blur tool and like a radius, uh, just go ahead and zoom out and double check every once in a while. For example, I overdone it. So I'm going to select just from here, here, up here, up here, over here. 
and then everything inside of here nothing more nothing less so now i'm just gonna zoom out it looks half decent whatever yeah there's still some white in there i can go ahead and fill that in you know just playing with your zoom and your options here in photoshop you'll be able to get a good idea of what i want now same thing Photoshop is a layered based program as well as a pixel based program. So if you wanted to replace it with an image, you could. For example, let's head over to Google here and um, let's Google a picture of um, a beach. So let's look up a beach photo here. Let's click images. Um, let's say we want this one here as our background. In Photoshop, what we'll do is we will go ahead and save it. Now, I don't know whose copyright photo or whose photo this is and who owns the rights to it, but if you do, uh, I'm just using it for educational purposes and this photo is not going to be uploaded anywhere. Um, just simply so that I can show people how to do some basic steps. So now that you have it, go ahead, resize it. You can do that by hitting Control T, dragging it back over your subject, making sure you're getting everything right. Go ahead and drag your subject back over, and bam, you have your subject taking photos on a beach. It's really that easy, guys. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial. If this helped you, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up, and also remember to subscribe to my channel. I also now have a podcast on SoundCloud. You can um, go there, follow me, and listen to my podcasts. I teach you guys on how to achieve the best quality products and productions um, with uh, video or photography or audio using the cheapest way possible. So you can go to www.soundcloud.com, follow me there, and um, yeah, listen to my podcast. I release them whenever I want, but sometimes I'll release them in spurts so you could have like three podcasts to listen to. But once again, it's www.soundcloud.com forward slash that's so brand in the same way it's spelled here with the zero. And again, please give it a thumbs up if this helped you. If it didn't help you, give it a thumbs down so I know that it didn't help you. And for the most part, I will see you guys in my next Photoshop tutorial or main channel video.